Tencent's dropping real-time image generation, instant, high res, and crazy realistic, that responds as fast as you can type. Alibaba follows up with a full-blown AI video studio that edits, animates, and transforms clips in one go. ByteDance rolls out a vision language model beating giants like OpenAI on over 30 benchmarks, then launches Deerflow, a multi-agent AI system that can run entire research pipelines on its own. Everything you thought AI couldn't do just became possible, so let's talk about it. Let's start with Tencent. They've just dropped Hanyuan Image 2.0, and to be fair, this thing is a major leap for anyone into real-time image generation. With Hanyuan Image 2.0, they're not just bumping up the speed a bit. This model generates images almost instantly as you type your commands, giving you real-time results, no matter if you're using text, voice, or even a quick sketch. Seriously, we're talking millisecond-level response time here. It changes everything about how you interact with these models. No more staring at a progress bar for 10 or 20 seconds. You type and it spits out results as you go. So if you're used to waiting for diffusion models to slowly build your prompt into an image, that whole experience just feels ancient now. The quality is also on another level. They've rebuilt the core architecture with new codecs and a fresh diffusion approach. And on Genival benchmarks, this model scored over 95% accuracy. That's well above what we've seen from other leading image generators. So when you put in a detailed prompt, you actually get back results that nail the details. Like you want realistic textures, sharp edges, intricate scenes. It gets all of that and it looks real. For designers and artists, this is the first time you can sit down and do professional work, illustrations, ads, concept art, without constantly tweaking and waiting for another generation cycle. And the real kicker is the drawing board feature. While you're sketching or adjusting the settings, you're seeing the coloring effects update in real time. This is especially cool for designers who need to iterate super quickly because you can test out ideas, adjust them instantly, and not lose your flow. On top of all that, you can interact using text, sketches, or even just speak your ideas, which really changes the game for live settings. Think education, live streaming, or even marketing, where you need to create visuals on the fly while you talk. Now, right after Tencent made waves with Hanyuan Image 2.0, another massive story broke from Alibaba and the One X Lab. They've come out swinging with VASE, which stands for Video All-in-One Creation and Editing. Let's be real, video editing and generation in AI has always felt fragmented. You needed one tool for cutting, another for masking, a third for compositing, and if you wanted any kind of animation, forget it, you were bouncing between apps, exporting, importing, converting, formats. It was a headache. VASE is Alibaba's answer to that. The whole point is that it's all in one and open source, built on their new One 2.1 backbone, which comes in at up to 14 billion parameters. This model lets you generate a video from a text prompt, edit just a specific part of a clip, like changing the sky in one shot without affecting the rest, or even combine multiple reference images and videos to control how the final output looks and moves. You can do masked edits, swap in new objects, recolor specific areas, extend scenes, and chain these features together in a single workflow. There's no need to jump out to After Effects or CapCut for polishing. The tech behind it is worth highlighting. Under the hood, Vase relies on something called a video unit. Think of it as a recipe manager. It knows what the main elements are, your prompt, video, images, understands what needs to change and keeps everything smooth and consistent. If you upload a video and want to swap out a character's clothes, recolor the car and extend the shot by 10 more seconds, it keeps everything aligned. Motion, lighting, transitions. You're not gonna see weird jump cuts or janky object replacements like with some of the older AI video tools. And yes, it handles resolutions up to 720p right now, which is already decent for web content, marketing, and even some TV spots, but the team is aiming to push that even higher in future versions. If you're running VASE locally, you'll need a good GPU, but it's all open source with models and code available on Hugging Face and Model Scope. Setup is straightforward. If you've touched PyTorch before, it supports Python 3.10 and CUDA 12.4, so most current AI rigs can run it. You can go end-to-end -end with simple CLI scripts or use Gradio if you want a web UI for actual use cases. You can do text-to-video where you just describe a scene and get a short animated sequence. 
video to video where you upload your own clip and use a prompt to transform it, like changing day to night or swapping objects, mask edits to target specific areas, reference to video where you animate a character or object from a static image, and then for power users, you can actually compose complex tasks by combining all these abilities in one run. It's genuinely a full production studio in a browser tab or on your desktop. Vase has been benchmarked across a dozen video editing and generation tasks, stuff like in-painting, pose transfer, depth-aware motion, and more. The results are solid, higher quality frames, smoother transitions, and way fewer artifacts than most of its competitors. Human reviewers actually preferred Vase's output over some of the biggest rival models out there, which says a lot considering how tough it is to get smooth, artifact-free video from AI right now. So yeah, if you're a content creator, marketer, or developer, this changes how quickly you can go from idea to published video. Now, right in the middle of all this, ByteDance has dropped not one, but two big announcements. Seed 1.5 VL, which is a new vision language foundation model, and Deerflow, their new modular multi-agent framework. Both are designed to handle some of the most challenging problems in multimodal AI, like combining visual and text understanding, video analysis, research automation, and more. Starting with Seed 1.5 VL, this thing is ByteDance's move to push general purpose multimodal reasoning further than before. We're talking a model that combines a 532 million parameter vision encoder with a 20 billion parameter mixture of experts LLM. Even with this relatively compact setup, Seed 1.5 VL is topping 38 out of 60 public VLM benchmarks, outclassing models from OpenAI and Anthropic in key areas. What makes Seed 1.5 VL different? For one, it's trained on over 3 trillion high quality tokens covering pretty much every domain, text, images, video, audio compares, They've built a pipeline that curates data using clip scores, aspect ratio checks, deduplication, and a bunch of other tricks to make sure only the best samples go in. They even go out of their way to overrepresent rare visual concepts, which helps the model handle unusual or edge case scenarios. The model architecture is tight. You've got CDVI as the vision encoder, which can take in images at native resolution using 2D rope and process everything through 14 by 14 patches, then average pooling and a multi-layer perceptron. The LLM side is beefy enough to reason through complex chains of thought. So when you ask the model for detailed multi-step reasoning like object counting, chart interpretation, 3D spatial understanding, it nails it. A big breakthrough here is their approach to video. They use dynamic frame resolution sampling, which means the model adapts frame rates and resolution to match the content's complexity. So if the video gets busy, it keeps more frames in detail. If it's static, it drops the frame rate and saves tokens. That balance gives you strong spatial temporal reasoning within a fixed token budget, letting Seed 1.5 VL tackle both short, high action videos and longer, simpler ones without running out of steam. In tests, Seed 1.5 VL matched or beat much larger models on tasks like zero shot image classification, ImageNet A, ObjectNet, you name it. For multimodal reasoning, document analysis, video understanding, diagram interpretation, even OCR, it's setting new benchmarks. It's also got this thinking mode for longer reasoning chains where it does even better with complex tasks. For applications, you're looking at chatbots that can see and understand, agent-driven, GUI control, video Q&A, and pretty much anything that demands a blend of vision and language all right, and then there's Deerflow. This is ByteDance's open source framework for deep research automation using multiple AI agents. The basic idea, instead of relying on one monolithic AI agent to do everything, plan, search, code, write, summarize, you set up a team of specialized agents, each handling a different part of the workflow and coordinate them through a directed graph. It's built on LangChain and LangGraph, so you've got a solid backbone for reasoning, memory, and orchestration. With Deerflow, one agent handles the planning and breaks the research problem into tasks. Another does the actual web search and data collection, while a third is running code and analyzing results. And yet another is structuring the findings into a polished report. There's a big emphasis on human in the loop collaboration. So you can jump in, review agent reasoning, change plans, or override any step if you spot something off. 
That kind of transparency and flexibility is huge for academic research, data science, or enterprise R&D, where one missed step or misinterpreted result can wreck an entire project. It's also really developer-friendly. The setup supports Python 3.12 and Node.js 22 using UV and PPM for package management, so modern environments are good to go. You get pre-configured pipelines, example use cases, and an MIT license, plus the option to run everything locally or in the cloud. There's even a full web UI so you can trace workflows visually, debug issues in real time, and see exactly how data flows between agents. Deerflow integrates directly with web search APIs, Tavily, DuckDuckGo, BraveSearch, Archiviv, code execution tools, and ByteDance's own model control platform, which makes it easy to build automated pipelines for things like literature reviews, technical reporting, slide generation, and podcast scripting. You can even enable a text-to-speech feature to turn your final reports into high-quality audio with customizable speed, volume, and pitch. You get this modular multi-agent system with a coordinator, planner, research team, and reporter all working together, plus an interactive feedback loop for reviewing, editing, and refining results before finalizing anything. If you're serious about automating research, code analysis, or content creation at scale, this is the kind of framework you need. All right, so let me know which of these drops you're actually excited about and hit the like button if you found this breakdown useful. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives like this Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.